Okay, I have a warning for would-be Parker Square hunters, and I'm gonna show you a three by three square. This will take me one second to write this down. Starts five, nine, seven, six, five, six, seven, zero, two, five. Okay, I didn't, I didn't plan my spacing out very well. No. But I don't have to add squares now. These are already squared. And I think a lot of the time we write down uh, squared, magic squares, as the base and then squared, and we kind of forget how big these numbers are getting. So this is what happens when you actually square them. This is the real magic square. This was discovered by David D. Uh, Klut found this one in, this was a 2021 discovery. And it works, kind of. So both the diagonals work through the middle, which is a big step forward than most of the time. And the, the horizontal middle row works, and the vertical central column works. Mm, the, the top row and the bottom row don't quite work, and the left column and the right column don't quite work. So everything that goes through the middle works. Anything that doesn't go through the middle is importantly within 0.01% of working, which is a phenomenal achievement to find this, given how big the numbers are. And the computational gets pretty, pretty crunchy at this size. But the issue is, if you're not being very careful with handling large numbers, you're going to get rounding errors at this point, depending on what level of precision you're doing your calculations to. And if you've written some terrible Python code, like I do, you probably haven't got the precision to handle this, necessarily. And so David deliberately found this because he thought it'd be very funny to find one that's that works in all the diagonals, but doesn't quite work on some of the others, but so close, if you're not paying very close attention, you wouldn't notice. So if you checked this on some kind of computer system, like I don't think Excel could do this, and you add them all up, they probably look identical because they're, they're so close. So that's my warning for people who are trying to claim the Parker Square prize. If you're looking at big numbers, you gotta make sure you've verified it so thoroughly before you send it in. I'm not gonna see the emails when you send them in. They're gonna get auto-forwarded to the committee who will then put it in a Discord channel and, uh, on my Stand Up Mass Discord and then it will be analyzed and if someone, there's no time limit on this, just inflation. If someone finds one that works, I will give them the 10,000 US dollar prize uh, sourced from several of us, apparently. If someone can rule out the finitely many curves on the Parker surface and the finitely many sporadic points, then that would show that none exist, or there might be another theoretical way to do it. If someone can disprove the existence, you're not getting the 10,000 US dollars. I'm only incentivizing people to try and find one for me. I don't think mathematicians need incentive to come up with new, I mean, mathematicians go to maths, you know, that's gonna happen anyway. But I will give you one free high five. High and five. a high five. I will travel to wherever the person is who managed to prove it doesn't exist, and I'll give them a high five. What if it costs more than $10,000 to get there? That's true. If someone finds one of these, they get $10,000. If someone disproves it, I get a vacation. Those numbers, right? Yep. They're not that big. They're not They're that not big. They're not that big. I'm surprised that people will muck up with computers and will add them together and get errors. I would have thought computers could handle adding three numbers that big. That you would think so, yes. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. It depends. How many digits are these? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 digits. 10 to the 19. It's probably fine. I think this one wouldn't trip people up that much, but there are definitely other ones like it. Right. So when we get bigger than this, and if one exists, it's going to be bigger than this. Spoilers. It's going to be huge. And people will undoubtedly think they've found it when they've actually just hit their level of precision and they've gotten a false positive. So that's why um, the, the Decolt uh, square here is a cautionary tale. And they say, oh, I hope I'm non-Parker. That would be the dream, to be a non-Parker finite field. So I've got a thing named after me. I'm afraid your field has been diagnosed as Parker. <laughs> I'm afraid it's Parker. <laughs> it's, it's not curable, the condition of being Parker.